I on? Hey, how we doing, everybody? Uh, my name is ETC Riddler. Lord Sturm. This is BXA Riddler. What's up? How we doing? How you doing, sir? You know, I think you and I both know it's been a long day, Ugh. but we're here, and we are. This is exactly where I want to be right now. It has been a long day, but we are all still very hyped right now. Mm -hmm. I am so excited. Right Usually, now, we are going to get... By now, we'd see like all kinds of crazy people falling asleep. But no, we, we still have people shouting over there. I don't think we really have much time for a crazy long introduction. Because JJ likes to rush into his games. Going right to Smashville. JJ Rockets versus Zenodo. One, one Diddy Kong guaranteed to make top three. Right? Yeah. Math. So we, we have a total of three Diddies in our top eight, then. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, we have three Diddies in top eight. We have MVD. We have these two. The Midwest Diddy Kongs. And I am so excited. All right. These two... You know, I don't know how often they actually get to play each other at these tournaments. As players, not really sure. How, how often have you actually seen a Diddy uh, mirror match? Uh, Diddy mirror matches are very weird. I don't really know how to explain them. They, uh... It's just gonna be about, like, this little tussle for stage control. Stage control is so important in the Diddy Mirror match. Oh, man, this just reminds me of the Brawl days when Diddy had two bananas. <laughs> now he has the option of having two bananas! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. We were at Dismantle 2, and we had, uh, we had Brawl at that, and Zenodo entered. And for, like, the entire first round of his winners, he just forgot he had two bananas. Could we nice. talk about that first stock at 31%? Oh, yeah, Zenodo's looking clean right now. At the very beginning there, it was looking very, it was looking very even, but then all, just out of nowhere, the combos. I blame KK Slider for this. Oh, I love KK Slider. For the first time tonight, we get to see KK Slider. Thank you very much. My Wii is set to central time, so he didn't update in time. He's actually an hour late. That's perfectly fine. Um, but what, to, to your point about that stock, both these players are very momentum based. They just can if they if you find one opening, they can take it for two, three, four full strings, and before you know it, you'll just be out of your stock. That's absolutely right. You can take a look at it already. We've got ourselves pink Diddy Kong it racked up over a hundred percent, almost almost without getting touched. So you're absolutely right there. Mm-hmm. And uh oh he gets his down tilt and he's looking for an opening, gets a grab out of it instead. Forward grab though, I don't know about that. Not sure if I agree well, in the middle of the stage, it just kind of stunk to get a grab. There it is. Jab to an up smash. Very nice. That down tilt is such a powerful tool in Diddy Kong's arsenal. And Zenodo now got him off stage. <laughs> Banana slides are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, see, they're just throwing bananas at each other. And it's just. They're littering, and it's just really throwing off my OCD. Now, this is actually the very first game I've Ooh. seen today. Very nice forward smash of uh, JJ Rockets, actually. I've, I've missed every one of his games. Oh, yeah. And so it's it, it's entertaining to actually see this now. Or maybe I have been watching it. Maybe I've just seen Diddy Kongs everywhere, and I just <laughs> have no idea who's playing anymore. There's a lot of Diddy Kongs in the Midwest, and they're all here in Cincinnati today, ladies and gentlemen. And Zenodo... Pretty indisputably the king of them. JJ, hot on his heels though. He has an impressive streak of wins in the past several weeks. Does he? Taking out uh, Rich Brown twice. Taking a tournament off of Void, although with the disclaimer that Void didn't play Sheik that entire tournament. Okay. Void does have an impressive Fox though, and that's important to know. Oh! In sync. <laughs> it's almost like they know how to play their character. It's like when I start like a cloud ditto, and it's just like <laughs> they're both charging. No rush, six seconds. <laughs> we're, we're good. And they're just trying to space out these aerials here. JJ, he has the start of the stage control, but now we're back in the neutral. Yeah, Battlefield, I think, is just, just like Smashville. It's just a very neutral uh, stage mm. for any, almost any character, really. There's some characters who I think would be bigger fans of it. Anyone who can like handle the pressure of these platforms. And both these players are really just going to try to do that when they're in the air. However, Diddy's arrows are very strong at countering anti-airs at times. At the end of the day, this is going to come down to who's going to make the most mistakes and who's going to punish off of that mm -hmm. the most. And so far, both have been very even. Both players are doing a very nice job keeping the neutral game. Not really making too many mistakes, not really just not taking any serious risks. Not that they really have to. They're the same character. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking for these down tilt pokes. That one JJ did was just a little bit too close, and that led to his Noto grab. And a little bit of extra damage from the offstage opportunity. Here comes JJ's grab, though. Uh, 
It's okay, Diddy Kong. I play Bowser. I understand the feels. <laughs> that that feeling when you can't press any buttons. You can't push the hoop the Koopa anymore. That ooh, good DI there. Oh, nice. JJ Rocket, he's gonna keep living, and good DI there in return. They know how to dodge that kill confirm. It's constant text off the ground. Back throw coming out. Zanetta knew it was coming. Even with Rage, doesn't kill at 120%. I'm surprised. This nice. stage has some pretty wide uh, walls as well. Good space in there by Zanotto. Great Just DI as I again. I say that, JJ Rockets comes in with his own spacing. And now it's JJ who takes first blood, although he's not at the pretty 47 or whatever percent it was game one, so he's got to do what he can to hold on to this stuff. These players are mind gaming each other so hard in these off stage opportunities. Nice ledge options there, yeah. It's Banana's so going back and forth. <laughs> the joggles. They've had enough potassium, leave it alone. That's gonna be a stock there. And Zenodo evens it up. Only taking 40%, not too shabby. Showing off a little bit of the skill there. Dash dancing. What is this, melee? Get out. Tech skill. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days they will trip doing so. <laughs> Sakurai laughs in the background. My patch on the 10th made you trip. <laughs> he's like, he's like, it's, it's no, just, I can't even joke about that's that. just his Sorry. reminder that it's his game and not ours. <laughs> you know. <laughs> in the meantime, JJ, looking clean. Again, he's got all this momentum with this offstage yeah, mountain of damage he's bringing up. 35%. Just, oh, there's the jab to a forward smash. Typical Very cool. combos by Diddy Kong. Nicely done. Zenodo sealed out game one that exact same way. You can tell that they lab many of the same options. <laughs> and they learn from each other. This is... It's almost like there's four options for Diddy Kong. And they always <laughs> practice those four options. <laughs> Oh, Diddy has so much stuff. You see all like the movement, like all the interesting, tricky movement they do with like peanut popcorn cancels. You've seen JJ particularly, not so much Zenodo, but he's done it too. The uh, Z drop banana spike. Final destination. I, d I don't know if I agree with this. I like the fact that there was uh, platforms because it, it came down to hey, who can tech the platforms better? Who can basically show off their skill better? Mm -hmm. Whereas on Final Destination, it's just like it's easier for both of them. Now they have both have an easier time of landing their combos. So, eh, okay, fine, but it's a little easier for whoever has stage control to keep it. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more snowballing here. And, and so far, it's going in favor of Zenoda. Yeah, he's looking clean at the start of this. Um, he's just got him pincered in here with this banana. A nice re-grab, two forward air. And JJ Actually, does remind me of a Sheik and a Fox Mirror match. They're basically the same thing. Once you've got a snowball, you kind of keep it rolling for a while. But those characters have a little bit of a harder time actually killing, so that makes True. the snowball even more monumental because right. the stock can disappear. And having rage and not having rage is giant in this meta. Now JJ again, he's kind of <laughs> stuck without a banana. Runs in raw grabs. Very rare that I see Diddy Kong go. I love it. He's just like, what's You're going on? Throwing bananas too much. What's happening? Uh, they're just trying to roll past each other here. Playing so cautious. Oh, the banana! Went for the up smash, but the banana was there. Very clutch here for JJ. A mm. couple of missed punishes by both players. And that's keeping JJ in the stock. Ooh, nice forward smash. JJ's got the stage now. Ooh, be reversed to pull that out. It's the second one. Oh, not man, enough 100%, to kill, though. Definitely not enough. His up smash is fresh, though. Uh oh, but there it is. Good combo there. That's a double grab on the banana. That max rage, losing that max rage for JJ is monumental here. And this is a three game set. Remember, we are not doing game fives. So, this is very important to like, just the whole pace of the rest of this tournament. He just handed Zenodo his banana. <laughs> here you go, have two. Remember Brawl? <laughs> this matchup's weird, man. <laughs> this matchup's, some, some mirror matches are just really wacky. There's a lot of monkey business that happens in the city. Oh, and it begins. It's going to be a long night, ladies and germs. Oh, man. Da -da 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 -da. And so, he's stuck on the stage. Good air dodge to avoid that grab. He knew he could make it back to the ledge, too. JJ, he's just trying so hard to get something here. I like what he's doing. He, he keeps doing those B reverses to change his position in the air to try and give Zenodo a little bit of 50 50 shot instead of a guarantee, but mm. it's just not enough. Zenodo's just reading. 
Zenodo is, is he's got so much control here. But there it is. That 96% extra credit, though. Yeah, losing, having that much extra credit does stink, but clearing the rage is important. Like, that could have killed if that connected. Well, JJ is lighter, and he does have that rage, so then he does have the possibility of coming back. And he's got a second banana to work with. Yeah, JJ's not flinching in these pressure situations, though. <laughs> the ditto. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's stuck, but nice neutral getup. Dodges the grab. Both these players, they were playing so scared. Okay. Wow! JJ opens in. Excellent shielding there by JJ. Remember, this is a matchup of momentum. JJ's gonna DI that, he's gonna live. Oh, that's gonna be the stock. Yep. There we go, Zenodo moving on 2 1 to winner's finals. Winner trying to prove. Trying to prove he's still the king of the Midwest. Getting that win over JJ Rockets. And he didn't look too bad. He looked like he was starting to make the adjustment back there. Mm -hmm. A little unfortunate we don't get to see a five game set. But well, not actually seeing JJ's games throughout the entire day has sort of. Be I began to believe that Zenodo was just going to sweep it, just take the whole thing. It was going to be a, a washout, but no, I was impressed with what JJ, JJ did there. JJ looked good. He's been leveling up hard, and I'm. I, I think it's a matter of time before we see him get a notch on Zenodo. Very nice. We shall see.